Okay, wow. The sun behind me is um, causing me to silhouette just a, just a tad, which could be a little annoying. But hey guys, Tom here. Welcome back to another video on the Racing Joker channel. I'm just driving the semi-truck in case you don't don't know that about me. I drive trucks for a living, that's my day job. And that's kind of part of what I wanna talk about here today uh, in the grand scheme of things. So you saw the title, I forgot why I became a YouTuber. That's not clickbait, that is an actual truthful title. Basically, what it means is, is that I've, I've, I've done a little bit of introspection and I've realized that for like the past year, maybe even more so, basically ever since I got 10,000 subscribers, my core motivation and vision for the channel changed from what it originally was. And you see this with people and companies all the time where once they start to taste success or get lots of money or views or attention or whatever, they lose their original vision and they go on a different trajectory. And that's not always great to see if you're an OG, an original, like one of the first people to uh, get on the bandwagon so to speak. Sorry, the sun's gonna make me look extra mysterious. So, that's kind of what happened. Jesus, H Christ. That's basically what happened to me. Okay? Basically what happened is I started to, I wouldn't say success, it's just that I had a couple periods of time in the channel where we had explosive growth. And I got, I've got a very addictive personality, all right? I got really hooked on the experience and feeling of getting lots of views, seeing big numbers, getting some money and all that sort of stuff. And it made me lose track of why I originally became a YouTuber. Now, if we wind the clocks back a freaking eternity to say 2008, let's just go with that, you know, or 2007, something like that. I was in South Africa. I was in maybe fifth, sixth grade, seventh grade, YouTube was just starting to become a thing. I had really bad internet, so I, I always had to basically pick a video, let it load, and hopefully I'm going to enjoy it. And back then, the content was very different, and in some ways, I kind of missed the way content used to be on YouTube. It just, YouTube back then, the way I saw it, and I saw it this way back then too as a kid, is that it was just a great way to share videos. Sorry, I'm going over the Missouri River or whatever the f this is. I'm going past the Ameristar Casino. I just saw it as a cool way, because the way I experienced it before I even started making videos was, oh, people are making all these neat things. They're either making funny videos, cool special effects videos, like lightsaber duels and things like that. So I was like, I, I want to learn how to do that so I can make something like that. And so I got into editing, um, people were posting stuff about music and like soundtrack from shows I was watching. So I was getting into a whole bunch of stuff all at once. And I was like, you know what? I am, I'm enjoying the feeling of being a viewer. I want to become a creator so I can add to the mix and help people feel this way too. Like I want to make content that gives the same kind of experience that I was getting. Just this fun, you know, Thing to do in your free time where it's it there's there was no corporate aspect it wasn't about fame or views or money or anything like that like back in the day I used to watch silly Gary's mod videos cream gravy the heavy ah! 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 I used to watch Ed's world you know lightsaber duel videos animations stick figure fights you know all of the OG types of videos it, it wasn't, no one was trying to become a YouTuber. Obviously, it didn't take long for take long for things to begin to change. After like a few years, people realized you could make money doing this. Maybe it could be a living. And many people have proved you can make a living as a YouTuber and all kinds of stuff. And I, I've made a few channels. My previous channel, which was called Digitalix, was not about getting subscribers or getting money or anything like that. I just wanted to make gaming videos that were fun for people to watch because I liked watching gaming videos and it was fun. And I, for some reason, it, it became something as a goal of mine to provide that same kind of experience to other people. It's not like the market wasn't already oversaturated with gaming content. There was plenty of YouTubers out there. I just wanted to add my own kind of 
flavor to the mix. That's where it really all kind of started. But then I kind of, as I got older, I was like, okay, you know what? I've realized you can make YouTube videos about cars too. I didn't, I didn't think it was really a thing. It wasn't, that's a much more recent development on the internet. But then, so I made this channel. But now this channel's kind of evolved to become about gaming and cars, which is fine. But here's the thing. Back in 2019, 2020, I can't quite remember, I had my first kind of viral or explosive growth on the channel when I hit 10,000 subscribers by posting Car Topics Explained videos about cars from the Fast and the Furious. And that whole experience, because originally I, I was still just making videos for the fun of it, because you'll, back then I was barely getting views, I didn't have a whole lot of subscribers, I was just talking to an audience that wasn't there yet. But I enjoyed doing it, because for whoever may have been watching, I was still addressing them. Because to me, even if I'm getting 12 views, you guys are still very important to me, and it's important to me that you guys enjoy the videos. But what happened was, is I was getting tons of views, hundreds upon thousands of views, and I got hooked on it, and my vision got skewed, because I wanted to keep doing that. I, I wanted that success. And I always thought I was immune to that. I always thought I was immune to the draw of making more money, getting bigger numbers, and things like that. And then I was poisoned with that for a while. And eventually, I started making financial decisions <laughs> to the point that, that caused me to get onto this kind of content treadmill, where I was making videos because I had to, to avo afford certain things, things I don't have now because I don't like having a content treadmill. And I'm also in this weird headspace where I'm in a bit of a niche making a certain type of videos, whether it's automotive content or movie reaction content, where I almost feel like I can only make certain types of content because I'm worried if I don't, I might lose my audience. I'm almost backing myself into a corner and I don't like making videos because I have to, because I feel like I have to, because that doesn't line up with my original vision. So basically, I forgot why I became a YouTuber. I feel like I've remembered, and now I want to kind of get back to my core vision, because I think that's better for me, and I think that's fairer to you guys. I want to make videos I enjoy making, and not feel like I have to be making them as some sort of obligation, because YouTube isn't my full-time thing. You know, I make some money off of it, but I've got a job, and this job pays great, so I don't need to worry about that. So why exhaust myself like it's a full-time thing when that's completely unnecessary? You know, I want to go back to the original vision of making videos purely for the desire to share and give people an enjoyable experience, not to make videos that I think will get good views, make good money, and get new subscribers. I'll be honest, that was a motivation that I had for a good amount of time there. And I'm sure some of you joined the channel during that time period. So I'm nervous about making some changes, but I feel like I have to. I don't want to lose my original vision because I prefer OG YouTube over modern YouTube. I prefer the less corporate side of things and the less financial driven side of things and more just be have it be about being creative and having a community and everyone just having a good time. That's what YouTube was all about. Now it's not so much anymore, but that's still what I want to be all about. And so one of the things you'll have noticed is my upload schedule has changed drastically. So now, now the way we're gonna be doing things is like this. I will set aside and make a big backlog of content for one particular month, and in between, I'll have about 15 days or so, maybe a little less, where I'll just post shorts from the previous month's content so that, you know, I keep the engagement up a little bit and just make sure the algorithm doesn't think I've killed myself. And then, when I'm ready, I'll just post every bit of content I've worked on you know, one video per day for like 20 days in a row and let you guys just binge watch all of that. That's what I did with Fast and Furious 6. Um, that's what I've been doing with this month with the gaming content and all that sort of stuff. And honestly, I like it a lot more. 
It's it's much more enjoyable. I don't feel like I'm trying to meet a deadline. I'm not stressing about having giant gaps between one piece of content to the next. Um, as much as I love trying to make the channel grow and succeed, it'll do that anyways. I just can't allow myself to get hooked on the feelings of when it goes viral. Because we're not going down in numbers, we're not losing subscribers, we're not losing views. We're just not growing as fast as people that want to become full-time YouTubers. And honestly, I might just not ever become a full-time YouTuber just to keep it real with you guys and make sure my vision never changes again and just keep it about making content, not feel like I'm obligated to make certain types of videos or make certain videos as often as possible and just let this be a place where you can go when there is stuff to watch and have kind of a glimpse back into the way YouTube used to be where it was just a way to have fun. So I will still obviously be making car content because I love making car content, but the car content can get a little boring. And I don't want to manage multiple YouTube channels so I can make different types of videos because that's not fun. That is in incredibly stressful and I don't have the brain power spare to do that. Because here's a glimpse into my life. I spend 60 to 70 hours a week driving semi-trucks. I have about 40 hours a week of home time. 16 of those hours, minimum, I am sleeping. And then I'm spending time with my family and this, that, and the other and trying to, you know, not go insane. So it's all going to be on the racing joker. The racing joker is all about me doing the stuff I want to do, cars, gaming, popular culture, movies, anything else that I can think of that uh, people enjoy, I will do. And it will just be this crazy smorgasbord of stuff. The algorithm will hate me for it. They don't like it when people diversify. Most ordinary viewers don't like diverse content. But there's a saying, diversity is the spice of life. I like spicy food, and why not make some spicy content, but not in the way most people would say, as it being controversial. I just want to make stuff that's fun for as many people as possible, whether it's a little amount of people or a big amount of people, that's totally fine. I just need to not stress about it and just enjoy it, because that's the whole reason why I became a YouTuber, was just to have fun. Because let me let's like like I was saying before, we've got Ed's World with all of the cartoons they used to make. I used to watch gaming videos like the Yogg's Cast, and I was like, man, wouldn't it be fun to make videos with my friends playing video games? That sounds like a great time. Like the experience they seem to be having on screen seemed really fun, and it was fun to watch. So why not have fun with my friends? but then also let other people kind of vicariously live through that and enjoy themselves with that. I might even start doing special effects videos, you know? Maybe I'll make a lightsaber video. I've done some special effects things in the past. Um, the car content, um, I really like the idea of watching people's stories unfold as they get their first car and get into the, you know, the community and learn everything about it and share their experiences so that other people can learn. So I might actually, at some point in the near future, make a video about how to drive a manual car. Because that was one of the first car videos I ever watched. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to rant or spiel for too long, but I'm going to make some changes. You're not going to notice most of them. You're going to see content on the channel you probably won't want to watch, but that's okay. I'm still going to make other content you'll want to watch. Um, I'm just turning this channel into a hobby, a passion project, the way I wanted it to be originally. And um, yeah, as you can tell, this video isn't scripted, but I've wanted to make it for a little while now because I've decided I needed to make some changes for my health, the health of the channel, and all kinds of stuff. And I think everything will turn out better for it as a result because the stakes aren't as high. So anyways, you guys all rock, everyone that's been here since the beginning, anyone that's been here since last week or yesterday up until now, you're, you're all great. I love that you enjoy the stuff I make. Um, I'm not gonna stop making stuff as long as YouTube's a thing. I'm gonna keep making it. If YouTube dies and another platform replaces it, don't worry, I'll just back everything up and then just upload everything onto that. I would do that. So, 
You guys all rock. I appreciate all of you. You're all legendary. I mean that, you know, I definitely mean that. I would still be here even if you weren't here, truth be told. I could have a hundred, I, I could have a hundred subscribers today and I'd still be doing the same stuff I'd be doing today. I just wouldn't have gone through the, kind of the, the phase of getting hooked on the whole channel growth experience. But now that we're through that, I think we've grown, I've grown, and I think we're all better for it. Anyways, I've already done an intro, I've already done an outro, I'm gonna do another one. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Tom the Racing Joker, you know me. Take it easy everyone, and I'll see you all next time.